Yo, what's going on guys, Arax here and welcome to Prey. Now for those of you guys unfamiliar with this title, the game is being developed by Arcane Studios, the same guys that bought you Dishonored 1 and 2, and it's another one of those first person shooters with heavy RPG elements and of course a strong narrative too. Something that Arcane are very well known for. If you've never played the original Prey but you have perhaps had a chance to play Dishonored either 1 or 2, then you'll feel pretty at home with this new one. Now I was lucky enough to get a chance to go hands on with the game last week at Bethesda's UK offices and while I was there I got to play through the first say 40 to 50 minutes of the game give or take. It goes without saying that if you don't want spoilers or you just want to keep the game fresh then you might want to look away but at the same time the bulk of the story doesn't really reveal itself this early on so in truth there isn't a great deal you should be worried about spoiling just by checking out the beginning. It's more to sort of set the scene but either way up to you. Now for the majority of this video I will leave you guys to watch the gameplay but I do want to take a moment to just set the scene. First up this is as mentioned the very beginning of the game which means the fancy alien powers you might have seen in the Prey trailer are not accessible this early on so right now it's much more FPS with a few early game abilities thrown in. You as the player take on the role of Morgan Yu who is a human aboard a space station with various hostile aliens. The station itself is said to be completely continuous rather than having separate sections or missions which also means throughout the game you'll encounter areas that you can't access to begin with but will later be able to backtrack and then work your way through. Metroidvania style, only not side-scrolling. On the gameplay front it controls very similar to Dishonored, so you have your powers or your abilities on the left trigger, meanwhile weapons are on your right. There are tons of items that you can find and use and of course there's a certain degree of inventory management associated with this too. You have various ability trees, so depending on how you want to play or the abilities you want to obtain, then you can of course spec down various different paths. It's also worth noting that some of the items you obtain, one of which you'll see in this video, have a few more uses than just an offensive weapon. Keep an eye out for the glue cannon a little bit later in this gameplay because it has some rather interesting uses. Now admittedly it is very hard to sort of form an opinion on the game right at the very beginning, especially in a game like this where the sort of depth comes much further in once you start unlocking abilities, discovering the kind of different story paths, of course altering the story because depending on your decisions that will of course impact the flow of the game. So a lot of that sort of stuff that you'll of course come to expect and want to sort of experience in these kind of games is something I haven't had a chance to try out just yet but safe to say I enjoyed what I played and I'm definitely at that point where I want to find out what happens next because there is of course one big story beat at the end of this and that basically sets you up nicely for the rest of the game to the point where you're now like I want to know what happens next. So safe to say I'm looking forward to checking this out more when I get a chance to see sort of you know more of the game but for the time being that's enough rambling from me so I'll leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Let me know your thoughts down below and don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed the video but thank you for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out. Morning, Mr. Yu. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you.
us on the way out. Good luck to you. Science class operator. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Morgan, finally. Hey, you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B then. Okay, Morgan, listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. The red button starts the test. Morgan, we can see you there. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register? At all? No? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. All right. Here we go. For this test, Please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double the check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D.
Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Heavy stuff. Not your problem, right? Almost done. You know what? I'd probably do the same thing. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... My coffee. It's empty. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Just a few tests. 
Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times.
Francis's 0451. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Now, your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not gonna like what I have to say next. Target no Typhon material detected. 